Hello, Star Citizen. I wanted to take a brief moment and share with you CIG's 323 update for Star Citizen that's currently in the Evocati testing phase. Evocati testing for 323 began testing late last week with frequent updates to solve stability in the recovery feature. Since this weekend, it's leaps and bounds better on stability testing and loaded with a ton of features currently being worked on. Let's look over the patch notes and I'll discuss my experiences testing 323. So currently the main focus had been stability and over the weekend it was terrible. Some servers, some shards had were pretty good and then some shards wouldn't work at all. So till today it's come a long way. The servers seem to be recovering just fine. Um, you know, the days of 30k are pretty much gone. It's going to be server recovery, you're going to get a pause, and you're just going to continue on flying. The new character customizer offers a lot of features. Um, instead of just a few colors to select from now, you can select from a palette of colors. So your beards, your hair, your, your eyes, your skin tones can all be to a color set by a palette, which is really neat. It's got a makeup feature. At first I was under the impression that beards and hair could be modified in links and stuff, but they're actually preset. So I was kind of let down by that, but the, the best feature about character customizer is you can make multiple characters, which they call DNA, and you can cross that DNA. And that could probably be pretty cool for machinima, uh, telling stories of kinfolk and having siblings and stuff like that. I think, I think that's actually a pretty cool um, idea. Um, the entire interface, the whole user interface of Star Citizen is new. It's going to feel like a new game. The, the next feature is the star map. Now, the star map does look really good. Uh, the, you can highlight, you can search for your locations. It instantly pops up. I feel like there's a few more clicks involved than before. Um, they've changed the color of the of the points now. Instead of being that baby blue color, it's now more of a, a darker, deep uh, navy color, which is a little better on the eyes when you're in space. Um, now, the, the unjumpable points are a god-awful orange that blends with everything, so I do hope they, they fix that. But Star Maps is pretty good. I feel there's a few more clicks involved, but it's more interactive, and I think that's the cool thing. Um, the interior maps on our little mini maps when you're inside of buildings or ships is really cool. It's almost like a god marker in a way. Uh, I chased a bounty, um, and you can actually see him in the mini map on the around the corner but you could also see his marker but you can get a better position of where he was around the corner um, also when they're inside of a ship you can pretty much tell when there's a player on the ship although i feel it's a neat concept and it looks great um the whole god mode thing it just kind of is unappealing to me um that's kind of what the sense i got from it but i think it's really cool it's different now into eva so eva is pretty cool so now you when you go out of your ship you go straight out like you're diving out the front of the ship and you float around almost like if you're in decoupled ship so if you push an input one direction your body will continually just keep going until you stop it or make a, 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 an opposing input um, so that's pretty cool you put your hands out whenever you get near an object but you don't have that crawl feature yet that we um, that we've seen at IE last year so but EVA is pretty cool it's gonna be a little tricky at first um, some are already saying maybe bind it to your sticks or something but um, it's gonna offer a lot more interactive and you can fire guns and when you jump backwards you can see your feet you know fly out from underneath you and go in front of you it's 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 pretty it's interesting It's a lot a lot more interactive than what we have now so the new looting feature is pretty cool. So you have your standard, you can open a box or you can open up a person's armor and you can remove items once, one at a time. And then you have the loot feature where it's more dynamic and you can hover over your rifle in your inventory and it'll highlight all the ammunition that's in that box or on that enemy that you can take without having to sit there and search for it. 
or it has a feature where you can dump all of its contents, you know, move it all at once into your inventory instead of having to, you know, pick and choose what to move. So it's it's got a lot of features there and uh, I haven't had much time to play with it, but um, it's going pretty good. There really, really hasn't been any noticeable bugs with that. Oh, speaking of inventory, the new backpack reloading feature is amazing. So you've run out of ammunition, no more you going into your inventory and dragging over magazines and placing them on your body just to be able to reload. It automatically pulls ammunition out of your backpack without having to do anything. Just hit the R, reload. Uh, some are saying that it takes a little longer to reload your firearm from your backpack. I didn't notice anything slower about it. or It seemed fine to me and the feature was working great. So really happy and stoked about that. Oh, and couple that with ammo repooling, which works great. No more of that, a bag full of magazines with twos and threes in it. They're all consistent. It works great. And then we have uh, dynamic crosshair. Um, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of it. I think it's neat. I think a lot of people could benefit from it. Uh, inside buildings, I think it'll work great. Uh, sniping people with the crosshair, <laughs> put your gun on your side. Uh, it's kind of hokey to me and it's kind of like a god marker i don't really believe in god markers um maybe there's a maybe there's a hardcore mode setting where you can turn that stuff off along with the mini map um that would be kind of cool and more challenging but it's there it works great haven't had any issues with it um physical shopping user interface is different uh it, you press on like a fruit and then you hit b to buy and I, it feels kind of weird. It, it, it was kind of buggy and wouldn't work. And you'd have to click on things. So that needs some tuning, but uh, maybe that'll improve uh, as the days go on. And last but not least, probably the number one feature that's coming to Star Citizen 323 will be the new fauna features, which includes a Copion, a four-legged hound-like creature that travels in packs and a Morok which is like a bird-like creature, which I was unable to find. I did find the packs of Copion. Uh, they were everywhere, all over Microtech, and they're pretty ferocious. Um, I do believe last weekend was them spawning so much on the servers was the cause of uh, a lot of crashes and a lot of shards going down. But I think they, they've fix that and I was able to get in there and hunt them um, you can ping scan for them so when you get near an area you can ping scan for them and they show up just like sh ships will but they're they're a white upside down chevron and so they're really easy to find and they will detect you from far away from rifle distance away I was taking pop shots at them with rifle and they were getting they were noticing me and trying to find me and they, they pack hunt, they will attack you in a pack. Um, they, they acted somewhat like NPC, but they, they're they pretty ferocious. Um, I was able to knife kill 10 at once. Uh, I had to move around a lot, do a couple of meds, but, and I also live caught two, and I was gonna carry them to Grim Hex to let the boys play with them, but um, they turned that feature off because somebody leaked a video of them carrying a Copion and putting in a space station and it raised hell over everybody which to be whoever did that is my hero but <laughs> we should see how it's going to play out i tried this the hunting missions there's an there's two hunting missions available and um they didn't work like you couldn't get a marker for them but the missions did pop so they're still working on that but you really did don't need the missions you can just go down to microtech and just ping scan the ground and you can find the packs of them and uh this is a lot of fun and guys you know to kind of end this it's getting kind of long now uh star citizen feels like 323 is going to feel like a new game with the new ui the new user interface that we're we're going to be using is um it's completely different key bindings for flight sticks are going to be different um instead of forward and reverse strafe uh absolute and relative that key bind has been taken away and you'll have to use one nail called longitudinal, which you won't even leave the hanger unless you preset that. 
So that's a new one. And they've added so many different resolutions and HDR and um, rendering options to option to the options <laughs> and um, lots of different flight um, options. Uh, I, I saw a lot of them that I seen were more pertinent to HOTAS guys. So you'll see a lot of at symbol uh, commands now featured in the options that will benefit those guys, which I think is going to be pretty good. Um, well, that wraps it up, guys. That's a little update that I've got my experience from Evo Cotti this week. Hope you enjoyed. Got any questions? Leave them down in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any um, suggestions, please send them my way. Take care, folks.